Chapter 3 My child, never forget the things I have taught you. Store my commands in your heart, for they will give you a long and satisfying life. Never let loyalty and kindness get away from you. Wear them like a necklace. Write them deep within your heart. Then you will find favor with both God and people, and you will gain a good reputation. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not depend on your own understanding. Seek His will in all you do, and He will direct your paths. Don't be impressed with your own wisdom. Instead, fear the Lord and turn your back on evil. Then you will gain renewed health and vitality. Honor the Lord with your wealth and with the best part of everything your land produces. Then he will fill your barns with grain and your vats will overflow with the finest wine. My child, don't ignore it when the Lord disciplines you and don't be discouraged when he corrects you. For the Lord corrects those he loves just as a father corrects a child in whom he delights. Happy is the person who finds wisdom and gains understanding. For the profit of wisdom is better than silver, and her wages are better than gold. Wisdom is more precious than rubies. Nothing you desire can compare with her. She offers you life in her right hand, and riches and honor in her left. She will guide you down delightful paths. All her ways are satisfying. Wisdom is a tree of life to those who embrace her. Happy are those who hold her tightly. By wisdom, the Lord founded the earth. By understanding, he established the heavens. By his knowledge, the deep fountains of the earth burst forth and the clouds poured down rain. My child, don't lose sight of good planning and insight. Hang on to them, for they fill you with life and bring you honor and respect. They keep you safe on your way and keep your feet from stumbling. You can lie down without fear and enjoy pleasant dreams. You need not be afraid of disaster or the destruction that comes upon the wicked, for the Lord is your security. He will keep your foot from being caught in a trap. Do not withhold good from those who deserve it when it's in your power to help them. If you can help your neighbor now, don't say, come back tomorrow and then I'll help you. Do not plot against your neighbors, for they trust you. Don't make accusations against someone who hasn't wronged you. Do not envy violent people. Don't copy their ways. Such wicked people are an abomination to the Lord, but he offers his friendship to the godly. The curse of the Lord is on the house of the wicked, but his blessing is on the home of the upright. The Lord mocks at mockers, but he shows favor to the humble. The wise inherit honor, but fools are put to shame.